Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jashin Jain and today in this video I will cover that how I cracked the STM interview. So first of all STM is a semiconductor based industry in Europe and it is the biggest industry with respect to revenue and headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. So in this video I will tell you uh, like how many questions I uh, got interviewed and uh, I will try to tell you the answers of those questions uh, but most probably I will tell you the hints of those questions because this video is made only for questions and uh, so the whole interview process uh, was about uh, 6 to 7 days I got the intimation mail that I will be interviewed by uh, some of the professionals from STM so it was a telephonic interview and up at 11 am my interview started and uh, he started with my introduction and he asked me that how I am doing right now and how my family is so basically he was trying to make me comfortable with him uh, then he started with the resume and he asked me that uh, which kind of internships I did during my pre-tech and it was from Siemens and DMRC I explained him everything uh, which I learned during my pre-tech and after that he asked me about my projects uh, which I did during my M-tech uh, in M-tech I did like uh, Gabor filter which was a part of uh, machine learning I did uh, full adder I did uh, op-amp designing uh, using Cadence Virtuoso so those tools he asked me and after that he came to the theory part uh, which is the which is like the technical questions so the very first question from technical it was uh, what is the working of a MOSFET so it seems easy question but it was not because it was a telephonic interview so I tried to explain him uh, like how the accumulation of electrons and holes is there so all those things I tried to explain him so it was a good question uh, so the next question was on which physical parameters uh, threshold voltage matters actually he asked me what are those physical parameters so physical parameters are like uh, temperature pressure and all those environmental parameters so I explained him uh, like how temperature varies and then uh, VTH varies those things the next question was uh, what is body effect you know body effect when we use biasing with the body with respect to source so the positive biasing and negative biasing effects are most right. So all those things I covered with the body effect question. So the next question was what are uh, short channel effects? When we increase the drain voltage very much higher than the actual length of the uh, channel length decreases. So we say it has uh, short channel effects like velocity saturation is there and all those things will be coming to the picture. So I covered 3-4 points there. Uh, then the next question was draw VTC of CMOS inverter and mention the several reasons in which PMOS and NMOS vary. So I draw the VTC on the paper and explain him those reasons that PMOS will be on and uh, NMOS will be in saturation. So all those reasons I cover uh, with this question. He was very much satisfied with this with this answer. Uh, so the next question was among NAND and NOR gate, which is faster and why? So explain him that NAND gate is faster, obviously because it is uh, using uh, two NMOSes in series in PDN so of course electrons have high mobility you must be knowing so all these things led to high speed of NAND gate and also the area of NAND gate is lesser next question is uh, what will be the effect of doping on VTH of MOSFET uh, truly speaking I never heard this question before but somehow he asked me this question I gave him 3 to 4 points uh, perspectives with this answer so it was fine uh, again he asked me uh, draw XOR gate using MUX you must be knowing that we have a truth table of every gate we can draw any gate with uh, using uh, MUX so it was easy then he asked me what is latch up uh, we have come across uh, latch and flip flops but, but this is not that kind uh, latch up is a very much different thing uh, latch up is like when we have PMOS and NMOS uh, connected and we have VDD to ground direct connection so that the amount, a good amount of current is flowing through the VD and ground so it is like burning of the device may occur uh, PN, PN junction occurs there so it is like SCR you will google it uh, you will be knowing this so that's the answer I gave him uh, the next question was difference between latch and flip flop uh, the very first answer we uh, the very first answer comes into our mind is uh, latch is a level trigger and the flip flop is a as triggered. I gave him 3-4 more points. Uh, then we have uh, can we make flip-flop uh, with one latch? Okay, I gave him like yes we can make but 
it was not true i realized immediately so i changed my answer i said no we can't make because we must be having uh, a, P, uh, a positive latch and, and and a negative latch to make up with flop so it will be working as master and slave so we must have two latches to make a single flip flop the next question was what is set up and hold time so it is a theoretical question uh, it is very much easy question i explained in uh, the next question was describe physical significance of set up and hold time this question i explained in using example of two resistors like how the data will be coming from the input and the data should come to the second resistor so that the whole time should not violate so all those uh, technical things i used with uh, with this answer he was again satisfied with this answer so the next question was uh, why do we use biasings in mosfet so the next question was why do we use biasings in mosfet uh, this question i gave him three to four answers with different perspectives but i don't know what he was trying to uh, get with my answer Uh, I mean, he was not satisfied with this answer. Anyhow, he jumped to the next question, and the next question was, "What are the different reasons in a MOSFET and their conditions?" Uh, we have like a cutoff, saturation, ohmic priority, or uh, subthreshold breakdown. All those five reasons are used. Even I told him that in CADES tool, uh, what are the numbers of these reasons? So everything I explained him. And uh, and about the conditions, I use like uh, VGS is lesser than VTA to have cut off. All those conditions I explain him. So the next question was, what is subthreshold reason in a MOSFET? Again, when VGS is about VTH, uh, the just lesser than the VTH, we have subthreshold reason. Some uh, subthreshold current is flowing. So I explain him those things. Uh, there is a graph between subthreshold current and uh, VT uh, VT voltage. I explain him that that thing as well. Uh, the next question was, what is DIBL effect? Uh, DIBL is like a drain-induced barrier load. So it is a, again a theoretical question. You can explain Google it, you will get the answer. Next question was, RC uh, draw RC circuit and explain it as HPF and LPF, like high pass and low pass filter. So it's again easy. It's a electronics question. We we are coming through this uh, since tenth. So I will be explaining him this question as well. So with all these questions, my interview ended, and it lasts for uh, one and half hour. I did not uh, expected this much time. Anyhow, I explained in everything, and it went really well. Uh, so within two days, I got my result, and it was a yes, and it was like a big achievement for me. I was on cloud nine, and I was not able to explain to my parents that I have gained this opportunity. Anyhow, uh, this. experience was uh, very much different to me because it was uh, my first experience with interview uh, in we later i got some calls from intel and qualcom as well i will explain those questions in the later videos so till then uh, stay safe stay happy thank you